If you're watching this, you probably understand what NFC or Near Field Communication is. It's something that's growing in popularity in the UK and I want to really touch upon NFC, the, the benefits, the drawbacks, how it's going to integrate into our life and whether we're behind the curve, above the, the sort of trend um, and what your thoughts are. Now apparently there are 70,000 installations of NFC or pay points or ways in which us as general public can integrate and uh, use NFC. I've yet to see uh, many of those installations perfectly and I'd imagine that the majority of those are based in big cities such as London where I'm not. But that's all very well and good. You need the technology to be able to actually use it. Now slowly more of us adopting it. Now if you have a Barclay card um, they are uh, a big promoter of NFC and contactless payments. I personally have a Barclay card but haven't had the opportunity to use that side of things. And a few mobile devices such as a Google Nexus S and the BlackBerry Bowl 99000 um, now have the uh, NFC inbuilt into it. But my question is how quickly will we adopt it? Is it really in a, any benefit? I can see the benefit for quick payments of certain things in, in shops, but how much time does it save us and is it secure? Now the Japanese are well ahead of us, they've been doing this for years and they're probably looking and laughing at us British, but here in the UK that we're apparently ahead of the curve of Europe, we've got more installations of it, more aware of it, but there are very few devices that have NFC on board, very few people who understand it and for these things to work we need a lot of people to actually adopt the technology and you prosumers who are watching it probably really want uh, to be involved but think on a daily basis would you actually use NFC that much? It's quite a sea change to start using your phone to pay for everything. Yes, you've generally always got it with you, but you've got used to paying cash or on card. And personally, I feel that cash or card is in a way more secure because I'm doing something rather than the phone and the wonders of technology wirelessly transmitting data. But it needs for manufacturers to put the NFC chips into phones. It needs for other shops and high street chains, etc. to adopt NFC, there needs to be education about it, it need, needs the banks to get behind it, to promote it. Now there's a lot of technical stuff and I'm not professing that I know um, what goes into running NFC and all the security things, but there does also seem to be this concern over security and probably the more savvy of us you know, can understand what is secure, what isn't secure and that for small transactions it's going to be fine and NFC will work perfectly, no issues. But what's the point of having NFC if we can't do something a bit bigger with it? Why just pay for something that's under 10 or 20 pounds? Why not use it to pay for your 100, 200 pound transaction? Surely that's the whole point. If you're going to go wireless payments, go one or the other. You know, you don't want to have to go out and go down to the shop and think, right, I've got to get some milk, some bread, that's going to be well under 20 pounds. Realise actually that's a good deal, I'll pick that up. Um, and now it's over £20, but you didn't bring your wallet because you had your phone and you thought you could pay with it through your phone. And now you're flummoxed, what, what do you do? Do you put the stuff down? Do you just take what you can afford um, because you've got no money on you? And this whole security thing is a, is a big thing. People want to know that their information is safe, that it's not going to get scammed. And with so many credit card scams going on, you know, through very clever ways that even the most sensible and knowledged of us wouldn't realise, you know, we could put our card into a, a machine that we thought was safe but somehow they've attached some micro technology thing that reads our card and our, there our card details are gone. So does NFC any different? And in fact, the fact that we have to be within range of something possibly makes it even more vulnerable to security threats because you don't actually have to physically touch something, you, you know, you've got to be within a, a few inches or, you know, roughly a foot, but that, that's going to be a big issue that potentially someone could, could transfer data or capture something. So 
I'm pro NFC and I want things to happen because I think it's great. I'd love the ability to do it and with posters now starting to take on board this technology. And the possibilities are frankly quite endless and, and really quite interesting, but there needs to be a lot more done by not only the phone manufacturers, the the networks, the banks, the whole industry of different organisations need to do something to promote NFC because at the moment we're sort of not moving forward anywhere quickly in my opinion and um, places like Japan are, are well ahead of us. Um, so what are your thoughts on it? Should we be doing more as individuals? Should it be down to manufacturers of phones? Should it be the network providers because Orange and Barclay Card have teamed up to do such things? Where does the responsibility lie and is it really going to improve our day-to-day -day life? I'd really appreciate your comments.